You know, we talk a lot about the glass ceiling as women are having a tough time making it into leadership roles or moving it up the career ladder. And being a chemist, um, I look at glass as something that breaks. And in some fields, uh, particularly technical fields, uh, it doesn't break very easily. And polycarbonate is one of our ro most robust polymers. And so you bounce off it. You might decide a different pathway can get you there. And international work, I believe that in countries where women have a really difficult time moving it up the career ladder into leadership positions, oftentimes it means going around that polycarbonate ceiling. But the real challenge is, is being able to have time for your science while you also then have to take care of your family obligations. And so those, the, I believe in the United States, we're a bit more advanced in the fact that men are helping in the household and they're helping to raise the children. And the expectation that you will come home and spend three hours cooking the meal after you finish work is not there. Whereas in countries like India, for example, the expectation often is, in parts of India, that after you finish your scientific job, you need to go home and take care of a very extended family. So the, I think, and we found this in North Africa and a lot of, lot of different countries we've worked in, that the family responsibilities and the society, societal expectations of women is what really uh, is very, very difficult for the women. But women do make it to the top. They do. They're just smaller in numbers. On the other hand, there are some countries where the culture believes, the society believes, that women are equally capable as men in succeeding in science. And in the United States, we struggle with that, right? But in countries such as India and some areas of Southeast Asia, there's a true belief that women are equally competent. So I see it as a very interesting difference in what we see as our challenges in the different countries. And so sharing experiences across borders is, to me, very invigorating, but also very important. Uh, there was a point where, in my, as an undergraduate, where I didn't realize the types of biases that were working against me by uh, male faculty. But fortunately, there were some wise faculty who appreciated my talents and basically said, you know, just stay away from the, th those problem folks and uh, build on your strengths. And so certainly at that level and all the way up, there, was, there are struggles for anybody that's a scientist. But in the 90s, um, I started to recognize that there were problems that were occurring that I didn't anticipate with a lot of my women colleagues. Uh, across the country in chemistry. And it had to do with reaching a particular career point where you would think you would be perceived as being very successful. They're publishing, they're getting grants, they're keeping their research groups going, but they were hitting this polycarbonate ceiling. They weren't getting the invited talks, they weren't getting the distinguished lectureships, they weren't getting the offers from other universities that you saw men get that were equally capable. And so that's when we started uh, the COACH program. And it was really to start networking women scientists together that were in, their, in the point in their careers of being associate professors or have been in their job for 15, 10 or 15 years. And they were becoming very, very successful. But um, in fact, as they become more successful, there seemed to be bad things happening. And about this time was when the MIT report came out that showed that actually senior women at MIT were having these same struggles also. So for me, starting the COACH program um, was very much my savings because it allowed me then to work with other women to understand the issues. And then we all brought the boat up higher together, which we continue to do, uh, to help with each other's skills and, and figure out strategies for making it around that polycarbonate ceiling so that we could be more visible and successful.